known for its turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, waterfront golfing, and luxury resorts, Longboat Key offers visitors a unique Florida island experience. Visitors who make the trip to Longboat Key are rewarded with a seemingly endless stretch of beaches and a much more quiet and peaceful experience when compared to Siesta and Lido Keys to the south. Now it's time to go swimming. In this video, we'll show you some of the best spots to access the Keys 11 miles of magnificent beaches. But Longboat Key is not just about the beaches. So stick around while we also take you to a bayfront park, plus some of the top spots for coffee, food, drinks, entertainment, dessert, and more dessert. Hey guys, today we are out on Longboat Key, and we're gonna give you some ideas on how to spend a day on this gorgeous island. And if you're just driving through Longboat, you may think it has nothing to offer other than its beautiful beaches and golf courses. But we have done some research and there's a lot of businesses on the island that we're excited to check out. Yeah, and today we're going to start off at the Turtle Coffee Bar for breakfast and coffee. After that, we'll show you some of the beaches, so let's go! Upon arrival at the Turtle Coffee Bar, we were pleased to see that they serve black gold coffee, which is locally roasted in Venice, Florida. We found that they also offer teas, smoothies, sandwiches, and a variety of breakfast options. Skylar and I both enjoyed hanging out with the friendly birds out front while we waited for our coffee and food orders. A cool haircut. Our drinks were quick to arrive, and we both especially enjoyed the lavender latte made with their house made lavender syrup. The turtle coffee bar does have a turtle, and it looks like it's time for his breakfast too. Our freshly baked breakfast pizza was not far behind, and we were both anxious to get back to our rental to give it a try. Since we're staying on the island today, we decided to walk back to our condo and have our pizza with a gulf view. The breakfast pizza was every bit as delicious as it looked and a great way to start off our day before heading to the beach. We made a quick walk across the street to check out the morning beach scene near our condo. And as we were hoping, we found the beach to be nearly empty. We also noticed the stretch of beach to be significantly wider than it was during our previous visits to Longboat Key, as a beach restoration project had recently been completed. If you're interested in accessing this beautiful stretch of beach, you'll want to park at the public beach access at 2825 Gulf of Mexico Drive. But you may want to arrive early as there are only spots for four or five vehicles in the lot. After spending some time enjoying the morning beach breeze, we walked about a mile to the south where we couldn't resist a quick walk out onto the pier to take in the ocean view.
After enjoying some time relaxing on the pier, we began our trek back to the north to check out some of the public beach accesses as well as the Bayfront Park. We didn't make it far before discovering why these piers are a popular fishing area, as we got to watch this fisherman reel in a big snook. That looks Whoa. like a good one. We soon also found ourselves joined by this blue heron, who seemed even more interested in the snook than we were. After a few minutes walk to the north, we came across the beach access at 3175 Gulf of Mexico Drive, near the Diplomat Resort. We found this access to have around 20 parking spots, and its short sandy path to the beach makes it a great spot for beachgoers who prioritize easy beach access. After a few more minutes of walking down the beach, we arrived at the beach access at 3355 Gulf of Mexico Drive, an access which we found to have limited parking, but a beautiful sandy path to the beach. After a couple hours of walking on the beach, we were ready for a break and were excited to arrive at Beach Access 4001, which is right across the street from the Bayfront Park. Upon arrival at Bayfront Park, we were immediately impressed with the size of the park and how well it was maintained. We followed one of the several paths all the way to the pier, which looks out onto Sarasota Bay. After enjoying the view of the calm bay water, we continued along the bayfront portion of the path where we found basketball, tennis, and shuffleboard courts. And just a little further down the trail, we came across a kayak and paddleboard launch, plus a hut known as the Happy Paddler, which offers kayak and paddleboard rentals, lessons, and tours. After a fun but exhausting morning, we were hungry and excited to grab some lunch on the water. And that led us all the way to the south tip of Longboat Key to the Dry Dock Grill. So we just arrived at the Dry Dock Grill and we've been wanting to try this place forever because it is really well rated. And we shouldn't be surprised that it was really hard to find parking and there's actually a half hour wait time at lunch. Luckily they had a bar and they do their version of a painkiller here which is one of my favorite drinks. They call this the Vanilla Killer because it has vanilla rum in it, and I am excited to give it a try. Very good. Thankfully, our wait was a short one, and we were fortunate to be seated on the second floor, which offers fantastic views of Sarasota Bay. While awaiting our order, we enjoyed gazing at the turquoise water, as well as the interior of the restaurant, which included lots of nautical-themed decor, and even a few boats suspended from the ceiling. The food arrived quickly, and while we did both enjoy the huge burger, we agreed that the chicken caprese sandwich on focaccia bread was exceptional. 
After a fantastic lunch and a needed break from the heat, we were ready to head to the opposite end of the island to check out beaches on the north side of Longboat. We're here at Beach Access 100 on Longboat Key, and this is gonna be the most northern beach access on the island. We're actually excited to check this area out because previously when we visited Longboat, we would go to the beach access areas on the middle of the island and the southern tip of the island. Let's go check out this beach. Now this is how I remember days out on Longboat Key. Yeah, it's so calm out here today. And the water is such a beautiful turquoise color. And there's hardly anyone out here. Yeah, it's great. So we've gotten some good beach time in and now we're definitely ready for a break from the sun. So this is normally the time in the video where we'd probably take you to a brewery. Unfortunately, there's no breweries on Longboat Key. But lucky for us, there is an ice cream shop and they make their own ice cream on site. So let's go check it out. Our search for sweet, dreamy ice cream led us to Tyler's of Longboat, the one and only ice cream shop on Longboat Key. It didn't take us long to realize we had made the right decision, but we soon found ourselves struggling to choose just one kind of this locally made ice cream. Thankfully, we soon found that we didn't have to, as Tyler's offers ice cream flights with three types of ice cream. So while we weren't able to get any flights of beer on this day, we were thrilled to get to enjoy a flight of ice cream instead. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can pick a favorite. <laughs> They're all awesome. They're all really good. Our next stop took us a couple miles to the south to the beach access at 3495 Gulf of Mexico Drive. We were happy to find that this access contained an abundance of parking, both on the beach side and across the street as well as a winding boardwalk path to a nearly empty beach. Next up was beach access at 6399 Gulfside Road. While this access did offer a nice, wide, sandy path to yet another nearly empty section of the beach, we found that parking was limited to two handicapped spaces only. Just a couple miles to the south at the 4795 Gulf of Mexico Drive access, we were happy to find several open parking spots and yet another nearly empty beach, where the birds by far outnumbered the people So as we mentioned earlier in the video, Longboat Key is a pretty sleepy island, especially compared to the islands we hang out on the most near St. Petersburg. But it's after 5 p.m. now, people are starting to get off work, and we're only a few hours from sunset, and yet this beach is absolutely empty. And I don't know about all of you, but I love it. At 
At this point, you may be asking yourself why all of these free, beautiful beaches are so empty compared to the more popular beaches around St. Pete and Sarasota. One reason may be the location and ease of access. Unlike much busier places like St. Pete Beach and Treasure Island to the north and Siesta and Lido Key to the south, Longboat Key has no direct access from the mainland and can only be accessed by driving through either Anna Maria Island or Lido Key. Another reason may be that the beach accesses have very limited amenities. On Longboat, you'll need to pack your own food and drinks and will have to leave the beach to find a public restroom. There are also limited rinse-off stations. But if you're like us and are willing to drive a little further and forego the amenities, you'll be rewarded with a quiet, relaxing, and inexpensive day at the beach. All right guys, so after spending a gorgeous day out on Longboat Key, we would recommend ending the day at Whitney's. It's a really unique place because it used to be a gas station. And I can't wait to check this place out because they're known for having great key lime pie and they have an awesome musician playing tonight also. So come check it out with us. With its history as a Phillips 76, we were surprised to find that the property felt much more like a tropical resort than a gas station. We found the inside of Whitney's to have a bright, clean, Southern California vibe and an impressive variety of entrees, drinks, and dessert. But there was no doubt we were still in Florida when we spotted a piece of their heavenly looking key lime pie. But we were in no hurry to order, as the main reason we had visited Whitney's was for the music. Whitney's has live musicians Thursdays through Sundays. We were thankful to be on Longboat Key when our absolute favorite local musician, Trevor Bystrom, was playing. When not touring around Florida and beyond, Trevor can often be found playing with his band on and around Anna Maria Island, Longboat Key, and the greater Sarasota Bradenton area. On this beautiful Florida evening, we were lucky enough to catch one of his rare solo performances at Whitney's. We highly recommend everyone look him up and check out his music. We'll be sure to leave a link to his website in the description below. We were loving the music and overall vibe of Whitney's so much that we barely noticed when our food arrived. We were impressed to find that the steak sandwich came with huge pieces of flat iron steak, and we found the health nut salad to be equal parts healthy and delicious. And thankfully, we saved just enough room for the key lime pie, which arrived with a personally approved pie to whipped cream ratio. And according to Skylar, was probably the best piece of pie he'd ever had. We both agreed that we couldn't have picked a better way to wrap up an amazing day. Thank you all for joining us on our wonderful day on Longboat Key. Did we miss any of your Longboat Key favorites? If so, let us know in the comments below. If you're interested in seeing more of the Gulf beaches or other Florida content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.